Welcome back. In this session, we're going to be learning how to set up our stock. So we briefly went through this in our first chapter in the intro to lathe. And uh, we're going to get started on that with our exercise so you can learn and understand it a little bit better. Now let's set up our machine type, which is going to be lathe. So go over here to machine type, come down to lathe, and then you can choose default. Now if you know your machine or you have your machine set up with Mastercam, then you can choose that. But for all of our exercises, we're going to use the default. So if, when you select that, you're going to see the machine group come over here and uh, you see it. Now, Operations Manager, if you don't want to show that, uh, you can actually hold on Alt and click on O and it will disappear. This way you have more graphical area around. Or if you, if you hold Alt again and click on O again, it will appear again for you. So this right here, the machine, will never appear unless you click a machine type. So now that we chose a machine type, uh, you can see these options appear. Now let's expand the properties and let's click on tool settings. You're going to see this tool setting uh, options come up. Now we did go over this in our first uh, chapter. Let's choose one for program. And then for all of our exercises, we're going to use assign tool number sequentially. So we can assign tool numbers uh, uh, sequentially one by one. And then warn of duplicate tool numbers. So we know you'll get a little message when you do use more than one tools. And then come over here to sequential, leave it at 100, starts out at 100, and then it increments by 2. This way you leave a space. Now, normally in your uh, programming, it's a good habit to put either 10 for increments or about 5. So you leave spaces in case you want to add your own custom made NC code later on uh, after you're done with your exercise. But for now, we're just going to leave it at 102. Let's go to stock setup and we're going to learn in this exercise how to use the stock. And in the next uh, session, we'll learn how to use the setup the chug jaws. Now for stock, for this one, we have the choice to use a left or right spindle. We're going to use our left spindle for this exercise. For the top view, stock view over here, we're going to keep it at top. We've learned how to change it in the earlier exercises. For this one, we're going to leave it at top and we're going to go to properties for the stock. Now our properties uh, manager comes up. As you can see here for the name, it's called stock left spindle. Geometry, we're going to keep it a cylinder. That's what we're machining. We're machining a cylinder. But you do have a choice to do no geometry and choose your own geometry. Solid entity, if we have a solid entity drawn out. A block, which can be any kind of block, not cylindrical. A cylinder. An extrude or revolve, and this is this is used when we set up a solid model. Now we're going to leave it at cylinder. We're going to come down here to make from two points. If you click on make for two, from two points, you have the option of selecting from, so it will automatically create your stock by choosing, you know, uh, your two points on your drawing, basically like a bottom left point and a top left point or a top right point. This way, you have your entire geometry covered. OD covers your OD, so if you know you're already already, which we already know, which is one inch, you can change that. You can also pick an ID if you have a hole in your um, part and you want to select an ID, you can also do that, but we do not have that in our geometry. You can choose a length, which is your on your Z axis, which would be 3.0 for ours. Position along axis, you can choose your Z axis position if you'd like, if you already know it as well. Uh, axis Z, we're going to choose for our entire tutorial, we're going to keep it at negative Z. Um, you can choose your uh, translucency for this, it's going to be a solid or transparent, which you'll be barely see, basically you'll see through it if you change it all the way to the right. Now for this, we're going to select two points. Let's go to make from two points. And then over here, just select your bottom right point, and then your top left point. Since you, we have points over here, and there you go, it creates your boundary around those two points. Now, let's create more stock in our cylindrical block. This way, we can machine around the part. We have a little bit more room, and we can also. It's very useful for facing the part as well. You want to make sure the part is faced. So, go come over here and click on Use Margins, and as you can see, this allows you to add more stock to your parts other than the boundaries that you just chosen. Now, for your OD margin, I like to add 100 thou for it. You can choose to add 200 thou if you like, even more. So I'm going to add 100 thou. 
So I'm going to click on point 1 and then just tab. Point 1 on the right and then tab. And then for the left margin, which is going to be your beginner, your end of the part, and that's going to be the part that you're not going to be able to, you know, you're not machining, you're just, the spindle is going to be holding it. I like to make it bigger because you, you need a little bit of room for the spindle to hold it. So you don't have any interference between the spindle and the tool as well. So for this, I like to make it two inches. You can make it an inch if you like, depending how safe you uh, you are with your tools and how well you know your tools and, and all. Now, if you come over here to preview lathe boundaries and click on it, it will preview your tool. So if I zoom in a little bit. It will show me that there's a hundred thou over here, a hundred thou over here, and two inches over here. Now it shows me an entire box is because it already knows that my tool is going to be this big. It's going to be mirrored about this axis right here. So my tool is actually that big, and that's exactly how big my stock is. It already knows how big my stock is, and this that this is only half my geometry. Now as soon as I'm I'm done with that, you can see this little box right here that says press enter to continue so just press enter and you go back to your settings now click on the check mark and there you go in this session we just got done learning how to set up our stock and our next session we'll be learning how to set up our chug jaws